Prepare to read. Don't touch me. Genre study. Informational text is nonfiction. It gives facts about a topic. As you read, don't touch me, look for captions with photos, details and facts about a topic, how visuals and words help you understand the text. Set a purpose. Read to find out the most important ideas in each part. Then synthesize or put together these ideas in your mind to find out what the text really means to you. Power words, sharp, prickles, thorns, extra, poke, nasty, sensitive, attack. Sharp. If something is sharp, it has an edge that can cut you. This scissors were very sharp. Prickles. Prickles are small points that stick out. The plant was covered with prickles. Thorns. Thorns are points that grow on a branch or stem. This plant has many thorns. Extra. An extra amount of something is more than usual. I took an extra glass of juice for my friend. Poke. If something jabs into you suddenly, it is said to poke you. Be careful not to poke yourself with the nails. Nasty. When something is nasty, it is very unpleasant. I have a nasty scrape on my knee, but I will be ready to play by this weekend. Sensitive. If something is sensitive, it is quick to respond to something else. Some people are sensitive to the cold. Attack. If you attack something, you try to hurt or damage it. The cat tried to attack a mouse. Some animals have special ways to protect themselves from hungry predators. But what about plants? Do they have predators? All over the world, many kinds of animals eat plants. Cows and sheep graze on grass. Beetles, caterpillars, and grasshoppers are called leaf chewers because they chomp on leaves. People eat plants too. To protect themselves from these hungry plant eaters, some plants have developed special ways to protect themselves. Don't Touch Me by Elizabeth Preston. Plants can't run away from hungry animals, so some of them fight back. They have defenses to keep creatures from eating them. These plants can scratch you or stab you. Some of them can make you sick. Others make you itch like crazy. Don't get too close or you'll be sorry. Do you have a rose bush in your yard? Then you know these pretty flowers are better for sniffing than touching. Roses have sharp prickles on their stems. Some other plants like the hawthorn have woody thorns and beautiful holly leaves have very sharp points. Holly leaves and berries have extra protection. They're poisonous. Ow. Cactus plants keep animals away with spines. Some cacti have arms but hugging them is a bad idea. Ow, ow, ow! A stinging nettle doesn't look as dangerous as a spiny cactus, but it's covered with sharp hairs called trichomes. The hairs are like tiny needles. If you touch them, they poke your skin with chemicals that sting and itch. You might get a nasty rash. Youch! Poison ivy leaves have oils that can make you itchy. If your soccer ball rolls into a patch of poison ivy during a game, you might be scratching later. Poison oak and poison sumac are related plants that make the same oils. 
you can watch out for poison ivy by remembering the rhyme. Leaves of three, let it be. Itch. Shy plants. The sensitive or touch-me-not plant doesn't stab you, poison you, or make you itch. If you touch it, the plant quickly folds up its leaves. Plants with ants. Acacia trees have big, scary thorns. But for extra protection, they use ants. The ants have a special friendship with the tree. They live inside hollow thorns and eat food the tree makes for them. If a bug or a bigger animal comes too close, the ants attack and sting it. 